today I stand beside the Citroen E Jumpy. This car we're gonna perform a range test on today. We load in some cargo. It's a snowblower on a Euro pallet. It's may weigh between 100 120 kilos. So it's gonna be a realistic test because with this car you want to bring some cargo. So we're going to take the Citroën to a test and see if we can get close to the 330 kilometers that Citroën claims the range is. But of course the 330 kilometer range is the WLTP numbers. Today we don't have that cold weather but it's down to plus one or two degrees Celsius outside. So this is a good range test, I think. This Citroen E-Jumpy is the L2 version. Not the longest one, but the L2. This has the battery pack of 75 kilowatt and it can take a cargo of 1,275 kilos. And the space in the cargo room is about 4.3 cubic meters. You have sliding doors on both sides and you have two back doors on this model. And the starting price in Norway for this exact model is 419,000 NOK. That's equals to 41,900 euros. So now we're gonna top up the car. So we got 100% battery and we're gonna start the range test. So let's go. And I. We'll just add on that we are driving on the Nokian Hakapolita CR3 with 21565 16 and it's studless tires as you can see. And now we're gonna weigh the car, it's now empty and we're gonna come back here and wait once more when we have put some cargo in the back and see how much it's uh, weighing. So let's roll on the weight here. And as we can see, the car weighs in at 2,270 kilos. Now we're gonna load some cargo and get back and weigh the car again. And we're gonna see some clever ideas from Citroën in the cargo room. Let's check it out. This model I have today has two back doors, as you can see. And it's pretty spacious inside. It's 4.3 cubic meters of space in here. And you have a big bright LED lamp in the roof and also one ordinary lamp in the front and one in the back. And you see that cover there. I'm gonna show you how that works. And a pretty smart idea Citroen has done here to, to bring some larger cargos. You can pull this handle on the seat Fold it up and I'm gonna show you. And you see this plastic cover? Just slide it and you have room for large obstacles. You see it right through there. And another thing, under the mat. You have cargo hooks to secure the cargo when you have long items sliding through here. Pretty clever. Just unfold the seat, lock it in place. And also you have a smart storage room under this middle seat also. Pretty spacious. That's quite clever. So let's just load up the car.
then we just loaded the Euro pallet with the snow blower on and we're gonna drive and weigh the car again and see how much the cargo weighs but first we're gonna strap and secure the load Like that. Now the cargo is secured and we are ready to go to the weigh-in. Let's go. And as we saw when we weigh in the car empty it was 2270 kilos and now we're gonna do a weigh-in again with the cargo and see how much the cargo weighs. Let's see. You can see it's 2370, 80, let's say 70. Then we have a cargo weighing 100 kilos with us. Then we are ready to take the range test. But first of all, we're gonna top up the batteries. So we got 100% battery before we start. So let's do that. So we just topped up the battery here at the Burger King. So the battery is now 100%. We will drive in normal mode and we are going to drive from Nordon to Sheen, Porsgrunn and we're going to hit the highway and go as far as we can near Kristiansand. I don't think we get so far, but we will see. So this will be a mix of all speed limits. We have 60 kilometers per hour, we have 80 kilometers per hour, 100 kilometers per hour and 110 at the max. We will stay at the speed limits to get the max out of the range of this car. Of course we have also the eco mode, but we will try to drive in the normal mode and see how that goes. And I can also add that the outside temperature now is plus two degrees celsius so it's winter here in norway but it's not that cold anyway and we have just reset the trip meter and the car says we have 248 kilometers on the battery i don't think that's true because this is a demo car and have been used by many people and different driving styles. And now we are ready to go. So let's start. Then the clock hits 1950 and we go. You can see the charging stations at Burger King. driving for exactly one hour and we have an average consumption 
of 25.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. We are close to Sheen and we have been driving 64 kilometers. We have an average speed of 54 kilometers per hour and the outside temperature is now dropped to minus 2 degrees Celsius. Now we have been driving 125 kilometers and the battery is 50% left. We have an average consumption of 27.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers and we have an average speed of 59 kilometers per hour. It's still minus two degrees Celsius outside and the car claims that we have 98 kilometers left. We have been driving in 110 on the highway for a little bit. Now we're driving in 90. So the consumption went a little bit up when we hit the high speed so it's uh, so we're really excited to see how far this will go driven 168 kilometers and we have an average consumption of 27.8 right now we are driving in 110 kilometers per hour on the highway the car says that we have 42 kilometers left so we will hit the 200 kilometer mark But I'm uh, excited to see how much more than 200 kilometers the range of this car is in this condition. We still have minus one degrees Celsius outside. It's uh, dry roads.
and we are now driving past Arndal and we have driven 189 kilometers the car says we had 18 kilometers left on the battery so I think we are gonna look for a charger so we won't stop and we have an average consumption of 28.2 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers and an average speed of 67 kilometers per hour I guess it's about 10% battery left maybe a little bit less and the outside temperature is uh, minus 1 degrees Celsius still and we also have dry roads so I think we'll find a charger and fill up the car and turn back As you can see, we arrived with zero kilometers left on the battery and when we connected to the charger, it said it was 3% left on the battery. So that's not much. So we can conclude with uh, this test that the range was 207 kilometers and that uh, range was uh, in the conditions with minus one degree Celsius to plus two degrees Celsius uh, and we have cargo uh, 100 kilos in the cargo room and we have a mix of speed from 60 kilometers per hour 80 100 and 110 and the consumption finally stopped at 28.1 that's the average and this car is not so aerodynamic so in high speeds it will use more power we're gonna do a little charging session here now and we're gonna get back home I think this result is pretty okay Okay, this, the range of this test is showing that in winter and in high speeds the consumption will increase and in the summertime okay maybe you can hit the 330 mark but this test is done in wintertime with low temperatures and mix of speeds and we also have 100 kilos with cargo inside so i think that's uh, okay and what we could expect of this car so i hope you learned something from this uh, winter range test with this citroen e jumpy if you like the video please give us a thumbs up and if you don't have subscribed yet please do so down in the corner and you can also hit the bell to get notified when we come with new videos. And until then, see you in the next one. Bye bye.